The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. So I came over to my truck. There's a tow truck driver here. And he said that the company that I work for told him to enter my truck, disconnect from the trailer, and take the trailer. So he was tampering with my truck. And now he's walked over to me and told, after I walked over and told him that if the company can't give me something to tell me to release the trailer to you, I'm not going to release it. And I've already been sitting here for over two hours. So I Before we get started. what's good everybody welcome back to the channel thank you for listening and in this episode man let me just let me just start by saying i love super eagle yeah what you say I, I love the stories that comes out of that company whether it's good or bad i am very much intrigued by the countless and countless of drivers that goes over there and for some odd reason thinking that they're gonna be doing what they need to do to become an owner operator only to find out of all of the shortcomings of controversial company super eagle <laughs> let me just set this up for you right in today's episode we're gonna listen to a conversation that this female truck driver had with, uh, with the police trying to get some assistance to come to the truck stop and hopefully get some help into averting getting her trailer towed, right? So imagine waking up to find your livelihood literally towed away in the dead of night, right? And the only explanation that you get from somebody is that you're fired! Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's exactly what happened to that female truck driver at the loves right so let me just set the stage for you guys so this female driver been trucking with controversial company super eagle for a while of course they're one of the black op companies that promise you the world they promise you good pay decent hauls all that kind of stuff y'all y'all know about them right and for the most part you guys think that they are okay because a few of y'all is not familiar with controversial company super eagle and that you guys rarely do your research about them so for the most part things was going good for this young lady as as it always is in the beginning but of course there's hiccups, not just with the black op companies, but there's hiccups with every job that you get with. You know, every trucking job has some type of hiccups, but nothing that was scream that you're about to lose it all, right? So out of nowhere, this female truck driver at the Loves that night, a tow truck or a truck rolls up, knocks on her door, tells her to get out because they about to take her trailer. No call, no warning, just gone, right? And this even gets crazier because she spent all hours of the night trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And she called everybody from dispatch to management, you name it. Of course, nobody is going to answer. Finally, on the dead of night, she finally gets a hold to a recruiter. I'm not sure if it's her recruiter, but she gets a hold of him. And all he does is tell her that you're fired! for not connecting the ELD. Now, of course, controversial company, Super Eagle, allegedly is ELD friendly. And a lot of you guys seem to know how to disconnect the system from the truck. So wait, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, back up, back up. You mean to tell me that this young lady is fired and she, well, she just now finding this out now in the dead of night? with a tow truck that comes up and knock on her door and just be like, yo, you get on up. We about to take about to take the trailer. A trailer that she's paying for, by the way. So she's like, well, since when? When when that came down the pipeline? How was she supposed to know all of this? And old boy or somebody on the other end, the recruiter says, yo, I'm, I'm telling you this now. Like now, I'm in Mississippi right now. Like now? So in other words, after I drop off 
these loans that you haven't paid me for yet. I'm I'm supposed to just be be stuck out here with no money, no way to get home, and just ass out. Of course, I keep telling you guys not to never go to a company broke. Never rely on the company. Always know that you're going to need some type of backup plan when you get with a black ops company. Just put that in the back of your mind. Always have a decent cash flow. Credit cards, pack light. Of course, a lot of you guys don't. But again, like I said in the beginning of the intro, I, I love these stories, man. These stories are crazy. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Yeah, he said. I'm, emergency. I'm trying to call non-emergency, but I can't get a phone number. The Jackson Police Department gave me the Byron Police Department non-emergency, and it's a fax number. Can you transfer me to non-emergency, or can you help? Uh, yes, and what number did they give you? They gave me 601-372-7748. Okay, the number is actually going to be 601 372 Two three two seven. Two three two seven. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Bye bye. So she was calling different numbers, and she didn't want to use like the nine one one emergency number because she felt that this was a non emergency, which I still probably would have called nine one one regardless because if somebody you don't know come up at a dead of night knock on your door and tell you to move so they can take your trailer yeah something's going on yeah, yeah, yeah bro let me uh, hold on let me call 911 so we can get some assistance over here bro mm -hmm. Three, seven, two, two, three, two, seven. Hi, please, can I help you? Hi, my name is Jennifer and I'm at the QT truck stop in Byron, Mississippi. Um, I was alerted to my truck um, that somebody was tampering with my truck. So I came over to my truck. There's a tow truck driver here and he said that the company that I work for told him to enter my truck, disconnect from the trailer and take the trailer. So he was tampering with my truck and now he's walked over to me and told, after I walked over and told him that if the company can't give me something to tell me to release the trailer to you, I'm not going to release it. And I've already been sitting here for over two hours. So I went back and told him that the company is not going to respond. So he came back over here and told me that they sent him a proof of ownership certificate for the trailer. And if I leave, he's going to take, he's going to move my truck, which is my personal truck, which is attached to a trailer. So he's saying that he's going to break into my truck if I leave, which is holding me hostage here. And I need someone to come out. Like, he's trying to take the trailer off for 18? Yes. Did, did he say what company he works for? He works for Macy's. It's M as in money, A, C as in cat, E, apostrophe S, tow, tow truck or something like that. And he's been sitting here in front of my truck for hours. He just called and doing it for hours? Be yes, because I've been calling the company, telling them to give me some type of paperwork to release the trailer. Like, no. Uh, controversial super ego. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. My tagline. You guys know what's a controversial company. Super ego, man. Yes, sir. So all this time, this guy comes over to her truck. She was alerted. She came back to find this guy trying to enter her truck. And I'm thinking to myself like, so that's what you're gonna do? You're gonna break into this lady's truck, get it started. How you gonna get it started without the keys? That's crazy. Move the truck and take the trailer in the dead of night. So let's say if she wasn't even forewarned and she came back to her truck, notice that her truck is moved or gone for that matter, only to notice that the trailer is gone. They get a proof of ownership. Now, mind you, you're you're paying for the trailer or maybe trailer rental. I'm, I'm not sure how that works. You you get assigned a trailer and then you pretty much pay for that trailer for the duration of the time that you have it. Now, I think it's like 250 every week, maybe 500. I don't know. Guys, let me know in the comments below. 
But yeah, controversial company Super Eagle is the place that I work for. So, well, Super Eagle and the company that I'm under, one of their affiliate names is Tritime Transport. My name is. Yes, I'm in. I'm where the 18 wheelers are, and his license plate. I have on a gray long sleeve shirt with some blue jeans and black boots. Did you want to take his license plate? Okay, it's J as in Jack, 1010H as in Henry, Y like yellow. And he has threatened me and he's holding me hostage and he's tampered with my truck. I do want to press charges. Yeah, because he says if I leave my truck, if I leave from here, he's going to take my truck. And I was alerted here because he was tampering with my truck. I have a tracker on my truck, so it alerted me. Okay. And when I got here, he told me the company told him to enter my truck and disconnect from the trailer. Hey, can you give me his tag number one more time? His J is in Jack, 1010. H is in Henry, Y like yellow, and it's called Macy's Heavy Duty Towing. Yeah, like Mace, like I'm a Mace you, M-A-C-E. Do I know what? It says Memphis, Tennessee on the, under his name and his Tennessee. It's a male, white. His USDOT number is. So throughout this whole ordeal, like he's in front of the truck, like she can't go nowhere and that's what some of these these uh, renegades do like they get paid a lot of money for these repos so they like they're gonna get their trailer or truck for that matter so you're not going nowhere until somehow some way we're gonna get this resolved and i i guess it kind of did get resolved because the cops did show up it was a video uh, not much in it maybe about a 40 second video of the cops showing up and they're they're talking with the tow truck driver as well as this driver but in the next video clip that i got right here obviously something must have came down the pipeline and they're taking the truck But I, I got a question. I got a question from allegedly, and this is from what I hear from other drivers, and it's pretty much a theme of it in the in the Facebook group as well. I'm not sure if it is factual or not, but it says here that they don't even own the trucks, yet they make you pay for them. They make you make the payments on them, and some people feel that that is a huge scam. Once you come close to paying it off, they'll find some reason to just rewind it back. So let's just unpack all of this for a second before I get on up out of here. And if you guys like what we do over here, make sure you hit that like button. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider, okay? Y'all got two options. Well, one, but two options. You can either subscribe for the channel for more. And if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early, make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show 
The driver, the female driver, didn't even get a heads up. She didn't even get a warning, not even a conversation, not even about the ELD situation. And let's not forget the fact that controversial company sent somebody out there to repossess the trailer before she even knew she was even terminated. I don't know about you, but to me, that feels kind of shady, though. So here's, here's the thing with black ops companies, right? No one is perfect, not even a company. But this isn't how you treat people, especially not a driver who keeps your operations moving. If there's problems, you communicate. You don't pull the rug from under somebody's feet and inspect them to just roll with it, which happens to a lot of you guys. So yeah, yeah, so this was a wake up call for the young lady in more ways than one for anybody that's thinking about going and rocking out with any black ops company not just controversial company super eagle just make sure you know exactly what you're signing up for with that said thanks for watching until next time everybody